Did you get to learn all your colors? <laughs> Did it get you? Hello everybody, I'm Brugley, and today I'm gonna be discussing and explaining the full history of the primary color man. Now you might have not ever heard of this entity before today, but don't worry, because that is what I'm here for. Without further ado, let's get into everything regarding the primary color man. From the beginning to now, let's just get into it, shall we? So the primary color man is a part of the Leon Vincible entity's lore. Now, this lore is very similar to Trevor Henderson creatures, and you might have actually seen some of his creations. The train eater, the dentist, the camera heads, they're all from Leon Vincible's lore. They were created by a guy named Adam Woodsmith, a horror artist who just really loves to depict strange and macabre entities in kind of a found footage format. He has a cool YouTube channel as well, go check it out. Anyways, he created the primary color man, and that's what we're gonna get into right now, the entity. The primary color man takes the appearance of a large, ungainly humanoid being. Now, accounts on these specific things regarding the description differ from person to person, but the one consistent is the coloration of this entity. It's always red, blue, and yellow, the primary colors. He's been seen having tri-colored stripes running down the length of his body. His eyes are small and beady, with white eyes and black irises. And usually, he's been seen with a huge, unnatural smile stretched across his face. The smile is very unnerving, especially to look at, and it gives people who are victims and who encounter this creature a very bad vibe, and for a very good reason. The teeth of the primary color man are human size and shape, but there's normally way more teeth inside the mouth than a normal person would have. As far as the personality of the entity, it's been described as malevolent and vindictive, and it hunts humans for sport. It seems like it's a fun game for this creature to hunt and to unalive people. He's even been seen and heard laughing while he's stalking a victim. The good news for you all is that I have found a way that you can completely evade an attack from the primary color man, simply by drinking today's sponsor. Gamer Subs. Now, Gamer Subs and I have been partnered for a hot minute now, and I'm actually repeatedly impressed with the quality and the taste and the designs of the drinks and the cups and the merch and all that the company offers. I'm not just chilling either, like seriously, I use this stuff every day. If you live under a rock and you don't know what Gamer Subs is, it is a great tasting drink with no sugars, less than a calorie, and no fillers or anything like that. There are so many different flavors that you can try, some of them you already know, and some amazing new flavors out that you can pick from. My personal favorite will always be Blowhole Blast. Don't ask me why. If you want to grab some Gamer Subs and evade an attack from the primary color man, then you're in luck because right now on April 26th until May 2nd, if you use my code Brugly at checkout or the link below, you will get free shipping on any order over 39 to 69. Again, that is free shipping on any order from the Gamer Subs website over 39.69. All you gotta do is use code Brugley or the link in the description. I don't think anything's ever been easier. Just use that code and you'll get free shipping. If you want a great tasting drink that energizes you for the activities of your day and also helps you not be attacked by eldritch beings, then you should pick some of this up. I fully recommend it. And with all that out of the way, let's get back into the video, shall we? The abilities. The primary color man is decently strong, but not really the most powerful entity in the Leon Vincible lore. But it's not the physical strength of the entity that it needs to rely on anyhow. It's assumed that the PCM can disrupt the senses of its target and cause complete and utter overstimulation. This will cause hallucinations and tinnitus and that sort of thing to occur in the victim. The hallucinations usually involve warping of colors and vision, which makes sense because it's the primary color man warping colors, whatever, you get it. The creature itself also does not obey the laws of physics at all, and it's been seen passing through solid objects like walls and the ground with ease, just passing right through them. He also seemingly has a very strange way of unaliving his poor innocent victims. <laughs> Fair warning, it's kind of disgusting, but if you're down for that, then here you go. One of the methods the entity uses is some sort of ability that occurs when he touches the target. Doing this will cause the, the human target to overstimulate their brain and make their brain go from zero to 100 instantly. 
essentially think of your brain turning into static. That's that's what it does when the primary color man touches you. Once this happens, all the primary colors will begin to drip out of your eye sockets and down your cheeks. Essentially just sucking all the brains out of your head through your eyeballs in the form of color. I told you it'd be weird, but that was, that was pretty gross, I gotta say. After the entity lets go of the victim, their lifeless body will collapse to the ground and leak all the colors from all their orifices. It's unknown the exact physical way this happens, but it's just assumed it's another one of the powers the primary color man has. It just overloads and overstimulates all your senses, particularly your eyesight, your smell, and your hearing, to the point where your brain just can't take it anymore, and it just melts through your eyeballs. Hopefully that doesn't get me demonetized. I have a feeling it might, but I hope it does. So who does the primary color man attack? Who, who are the victims of this creature? Normally, it likes to attack people while they're sleeping or in like a helpless state. So if they're in their bed, if they're in their house alone, or if they're exploring some abandoned place and they're all alone, that's typically who it goes for. Some reports have even claimed that the creature can infiltrate the dreams of victims and kind of cause them horror in that way, almost as if it's like taunting them or something. You might see something dash from your peripheral or an arm reach out from the side of you and you look over and it's nothing there. It's because he's taunting you, of course. In a disturbing twist, the primary color man is often depicted inside of indoor playgrounds in things like ball pits and slides and things like that. Which, of course, these places are frequented by children. Which might mean that this entity hunts kids. I mean, it'd be pretty easy to blend into all the colorful ball pits and mats and slides and stuff, since it's the same color as the primary color man. And because of this, it's safe to say, never go into a ball pit or a trampoline park alone at all, because you have no idea what might be lurking in the bottom of a ball pit. Yet another strange twist of events, the primary color man has been known to be seen in the back rooms, and it seems that the back rooms itself can't even contain him. That's how powerful he is. He can glitch right through walls to get back to real life. So this dude just can go from the back rooms to real life almost as a vacation while everyone else is stuck down there forever. That's pretty cool. Now, there's actually a counterpart entity to the primary color man that goes by the very creative name of the secondary color woman, who, you guessed it, is a woman entity patterned with secondary colors, purple, oranges, and greens. She has long hair and looks much more human than the primary color man does. The difference is, she's actually not evil and doesn't want to make your brain leak color fluid out of your eyes. She's actually very kind and tends to help people that are being chased by the original entity. She can actually open up holes in walls to kind of form tunnels for you to run through if the primary color man is chasing you. And she's been known to fight it off in like heated fistfights. So good on you, secondary color woman. We appreciate you. Now it's unknown if these entities are related, and it's also unknown where they came from. But they do seem to exist in this weird sort of state between consciousness and dreaming. So we don't really know where they fall, but we do know they're real. And you better hope that if you encounter one of them, you encounter the secondary color woman and not the primary color man. If you like your brains not liquid and colorful. So yeah, that was the full history of the primary color man and the secondary color woman. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, I'd make like two or three of these a week. I make backrooms videos, SCPs, Trevor Henderson creatures, and now videos on the Invincible entities. So if you like that, subscribe, it's free. It helps me out, it helps you out. It's a win-win. Thank y'all for your support. Tell somebody you love them if you haven't today because life is too short not to. And with all that said, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video on any of my channels. Peace out.